Hello Miss Evans, my name's Rebecca and I'm a Physician's Associate and I'll be helping you today. Um, so please can you tell me in your own words the reason for your visit for, to clinic today? Okay, so you've been experiencing sharp pain in your stomach, nausea and you've been sick and you've been feeling really bloated after eating. Okay, so how has your appetite been Miss Evans? Not good, okay. Um, so please may I ask how your diet is at the moment, any changes? Ah, so not good at the moment. You've been studying for exams for lots of fast food. Um, so you're a little bit stressed at the moment with the exams. Uh, a lot of stressed. Okay. Um, so do you take any regular medication at all? I assume a tryptin for migraine. And ibuprofen as you've been getting them more frequently. Okay. So any other medical history? Any type? Have you experienced this type of pain before? I also had your appendix removed about three years ago. Okay, so do you drink any alcohol or take any recreational drugs at all? Not at the moment, no. Okay, um, so how are your bowels at the moment, Miss Evans? Any changes? Okay, so everything's normal. Okay, so is there any chance that you could be pregnant at all, Miss Evans? No, okay. Okay, Miss Evans, so I think that you do have um, gastritis, which is when the lining of your stomach becomes inflamed and angry. Um, I think that a number of things could have contributed towards this. Um, eating fast food um, and the change in your diet, the stress from the exams and um, probably the main contributor is the f increased amount of ibuprofen you've been taking that's known to irritate the lining of your stomach. Um, so I w first of all I'd like to arrange a blood test just to check your iron levels um, and to see if there's any signs of infection called H. pylori. I would also like for you to provide us with a stool sample so we can test um, your stool for any traces of blood or anything just to see if there's any signs there. Okay, and whilst we're waiting for the results of these tests to come back, I would like you to make some changes to your diet, okay, to improve your symptoms. Um, we would recommend eating a fairly bland diet, but healthy, so lots of lean meat like chicken, turkey, and then fruits and veg. No fatty foods or spicy foods, just to try and calm your stomach down. Okay, so the next thing we'd like to look at is to reduce the amount of ibuprofen you're taking. Um, so please can I ask, how often are you experiencing migraines at the moment, Miss Evans? Okay, so about four a week. Okay, so what I can do is I can ask the doctor to review your medication and perhaps prescribe a tablet that you can take daily, such as topiramate, that will work to prevent the migraines. Would that be okay? Wonderful. Okay, yes, they are okay to take, those tablets are okay to take along with the sumatriptan if you still experience migraines. Yeah. Okay, so to help with the stomach pain you're experiencing with the gastritis, we can prescribe an antacid. Yes, like Gaviscon, that's correct. You can buy that over the counter as well. Um, and what this does is works to help neutralize the acid in your stomach and this will reduce your pain. It has quite an immediate effect. Okay, and I know that you've just um, finished the exam periods in university. So the reduction in stress will help, should help as well. Okay, so do you have any questions at all, Miss Evans? Okay, so if we don't treat this now and we don't make these alterations to your diet, um, it can develop into something a bit more serious, such as chronic gastritis, which could then lead on to um, peptic ulcers or polyps, which are small growths in your stomach, which can be a lot more painful. It can You will then require more invasive treatments, like surgery or more medication okay so if these changes don't work we can do further testing um, such as a more specific test for the h pylori infection called a breath test um, and what that involves is just you drink a clear liquid and then you'll be asked to blow into a bag and what this does will measure the amount of the infection um, in your stomach and then that can be treated with antibiotics um, and then following that, if that doesn't then work, we can refer you on to a gastroenterologist for an endoscopy um, to look for the signs of inflammation in your stomach. However, from what you've told me today, I believe the cause of your gastritis is a combination of the frequent use of ibuprofen, the changes in your diet and the exam stress. So we're far, we're far away from the referral to gastroenterology yet. Okay.
So no, unfortunately I won't be able to prescribe the antibiotics before we have the results back. As if you don't have the infection now and we are to treat it with the antibiotics, if you were to develop the infection later on in life or further down the line, um, the medica medication may not work for you. Um, this is due to antibiotic resistance. I can give you further information about that if you'd like to know more about this, yeah? Okay. Um, so please do make an appointment to see me again in about a week's time just so we can go through your blood results and the results from your stool sample and we can see and we can see how you're going, see if the changes to your diets and the new medication is working for you. Is that okay? Wonderful. Okay, thank you, Miss Evans. Goodbye.